Sebring 1-2H, WTR Cadillac wins again, Corvette beats Ford in GTLM. Wayne Taylor Racing added the 65th 12 hours of Sebring to its 55th Daytona 24 hours success, leading a Cadillac 1-2-3 in the American Sportska Classic. WTR's Alex Lynn, paired with team owner Wayne Taylor's sons Ricky and Jordan, scored a hard-fought victory over first of the Action Express Cadillacs. Lynn took the lead after WTR opted to short-fuel the car in the 8th hour, leapfrogging ahead of the AXR's erstwhile leading number 5 car of Philippe Albuquerque, Jao Barbosa, and Christian Fittipaldi, having run an extra lap in its previous stints. Albuquerque jumped ahead again when Lynn tripped over a GTD Audi, but the shoe was on the other foot in the next stint, when Jordan Taylor dived past Albuquerque when he got balked by the number 33 GTD Mercedes. Ricky Taylor was installed for the final stint, against Barbosa in the number 5 AXR machine. Taylor was in complete control, adding a second IMSA WeatherTech Sportska Championship victory on the trot. The second Action Express run Cadillac, the number 31 car, suffered a setback when Eric Curran rammed the dawdling Nissan DPI of Johannes Van Overbeek at turn 17, and it took four laps to restart the car. It regained enough time to finish third, but was never a factor in the lead battle. The number 85 JDC Miller run Orca was the best of the LMP2 cars, but finished a distant fourth overall. The challenge of the pole-sitting Rebellion run Orca withered right from the end of Neil Johnny's first stint, when a sequence of air gun, starter motor, and alternator problems blighted its challenge. Both ESM Nissan DPI machines also fell out with mechanical woes. Performance Tech Motorsports led the PC category throughout, from the Starworks No. 8 car. Corvette takes stunning GTLM win. The pole-sitting GTLM No. 67 Ford GT of Ryan Briscoe slash Richard Westbrook slash Scott Dixon did not take up its position on the grid due to an issue getting it started. But once going, the car tore through towards the front in just a couple of hours albeit running off sequence to rivals, which complicated matters. In the latter stages, Ford stuck to its pit strategy plan, while rivals from Corvette, Ferrari, and Porsche all pitted opportunistically under yellow in hour 9. It allowed the number 3 Corvette to lead into the final hour, ahead of the number 911 Porsche with the trio of Fords giving chase. A full course yellow with just over an hour to go added intrigue to the equation. The final pistop was a disaster for Porsche, as Patrick Pilot was stranded with a right rear wheel gun failure that dropped him from second in class to fifth. That put Corvette's Garcia in pole position for GTLM victory, with two Fords restarting right behind him. But Pilot was flying as the green flag flew his Porsche working perfectly in the cooler conditions of the night and he made short work of both Fords and set off after Garcia's Corvette. But with potential victory in his sights, Pilot had to pit again with a left front puncture, handing the race to Corvette and slumping to 7th as he had to serve a drive through penalty for running over his air gun's hose. The number 66 Ford of Joey Hand, Dirk Muller, and Sebastian Bourdais finished 2nd, ahead of the Ricci Ferrari and number 67 Ford which spun on the final lap. Riley Mercedes wins GT Daytona. The Riley Motorsports AMG Mercedes GT3 of Jeroen Bleak Milan, Ben Keating, and Mario Farnbacher won the GT Daytona class, overcoming a late race pit gamble by the Cuderia Corsa Ferrari 488 to skip fresh tires. However, Bleak Milan, who had pulled a 2 8 SEC lead in the final stint before the Yellows sized up his quarry and passed Alessandro Balzan to retake the lead and pull away to win by 9 seconds. Tristan Vautier drove a heroic race, overcoming mistakes, and drive-through penalties by CO driver Boris said to grab third on the very last lap from Christopher Mize in the Land Motorsport Audi R8. Two Lamborghini Huracans, driven by Jeroen Mull, Change Racing, and Mirko Bordelotti, Grasser Racing, stopped in the closing stages, so the highest finishing Lombo was the number 48 Paul Miller Racing entry in fifth. 